Okay, this amount of noise is at about two and a half feet distance from the skimmer. Uh, the skimmer pump is the loudest component within our reef aquarium setup, and we're going to try to fix that today. Okay, so this is the Vertex IN80 um, without the skimmer cup on it. I just wanted to show you the motor connection down here. And this is the pump that I'm going to try to replace the uh, original stock Vertex pump with. This is a Tunesy or Tunes, uh, I don't know how it's pronounced, don't really care. Uh, Hydro Fulmer 9410.04 pump. Uh, physically, in dimensions, they're pretty close to the same size. Uh, the Tunzi is a little bit shorter in height, and uh, it's also a bit longer because of the stock Venturi on it. As far as the specs go for uh, water output, um, they're pretty close. The Tunzi puts out a little bit more water, uh, but I think that we should be okay and uh, should be able to dial it back. One interesting piece in looking at the Tunzi pump here is that the, the elbow that fits on the stock pump almost fits perfectly on the outer rim of the Tunzi pump here. Uh, it would still be a little bit short, um, so I can skin this cat a couple, one of a couple of ways. I can either add something underneath the pump in order to get it up to the right height or the way that the, the Tunzi pump actually works off of the Tunzi skimmers is that it sits like this um, where it would be a vertical installation. I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about this yet so um, we'll figure that out along the way but if I did it this way I could probably do it with a simple pipe joint. Um, we'll have to see. So a quick trip to Home Depot and I uh, found that 3 quarter inch PVC actually fits right inside of the stock tubing that they use on this skimmer. And what I needed to do then was have it threaded so that it would fit inside of the Tunzi pump. Uh, let's see if I can focus. I actually had, uh, had the guys at Home Depot uh, they were pretty reluctant, but they finally uh, agreed to go ahead and put this on their pipe threading machine. And so everything works pretty well. So let's assemble it and see what we got. Okay, so as you can see what I've done, I reinserted the tube back into here. I actually wound up cutting off about a half an inch just so that the, the center would, or the uh, tube would go right into about the center of the center chamber. And then what I've done is screwed the PVC into here and how the pump is actually going to sit it's going to slide right in like such and hang just like that and that's going to be it so here we are with the finished product and uh, I'll be quiet here for a minute so you can see how the uh, pump compares to the old one Right now my uh, overflow seems to be pretty noisy. Um, I do have a, have a uh, hose coming off the skimmer cup because the uh, skimmer was overflowing uh, when I first started it up, so I figured I'd let it run for a couple of days just to let things get warmed up and get it broken in. Um, but I'll swing around the side here so that you can see how the pump hangs off of the side of the skimmer body. So it's kind of tough to see because of the layout of the stand. Uh, but it just hangs right there off of the side of the skimmer body. Uh, I do have this running pretty deep. It runs at uh, about 11 inches of water, which uh, I know is too deep, but uh, that's my layout, so so be it. But so far, so good. So uh, just to show that, uh, yes, indeed, you can put a Tunzi Hydrofoamer pump onto a Vertex skimmer.